Hey everybody, Nerd and Nile back with another review for you guys. And just to keep up the trend, we're doing uh, Food Wars Season 2 because it was shorter and we're binging. And, and we want to watch it, yeah. Binging. I am so glad to be re-watching this, honestly, and I'm so glad that you're as obsessed with it as I was. It's good. Yay! I'm winning. It's with this one. Calm down. I won with this. I won with Seven Deadly Sins. I won with... Uh, my Hero Academia. I've got some good wins under my belt. <laughs> she doesn't like admitting when she loses. I don't. Or when she's mm -hmm. wrong. It's not a competition. When you're the nerd in denial, it absolutely Shh. is a competition. We're getting off track, though. Anyway, second season. season two. Honestly, a little weaker than season one. Yep. But, but because more happens in season one and more. And there's more episodes in season one. I think that's the thing. Like, I would have loved for it to have... Been longer? Been longer. See, I say that now, but we're literally about to start season three. Which is longer. <laughs> Which is longer. But... I didn't have to go through the struggle of waiting for season three. <laughs> to be fair, I waited. I didn't have to wait for season three. I had to wait for the second half of season three. I... Which is weird. Also, season three ends on such a bullshit cliffhanger. Uh, shh. I'm just gonna let. T I'm just gonna warn you right now. Hey, it's, just, it's not as bad as the ending of Luke Cage season two. Uh, Call back to a previous episode of Nerd and Nile. You should go watch it. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Uh, anyway, season two is just the the rest of the autumn elections tournament arc, uh -huh. and I'm calling it the internship arc because I can't pronounce the word they actually the, fucking use. The, yeah, the, yeah, I'm not the even gonna try. The stagier. If he can't do it, I can't do it. It's French, I think. It's French, I think. I mean, it wouldn't make sense because everything else about that arc is about French cuisine. Yeah. So, the tournament arc. Were you surprised at the outcome of who actually wins and that it wasn't Yuki Hida? No. You really weren't? No, because I knew eventually at some point... He had to lose. They were going to kick him on his ass. What was... See, I thought that was the moment during the... Hell arc, the Hell Week arc, when he went up against the uh, alumni and they knocked him on his ass. And especially since that whole thing with his dad of until you lose to me again, don't lose to anybody else. I guess that is a I guess that is a flag. Now that I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> they were still, being like, "Hey, you're gonna lose, Angelie." I still love his dad. Oh, you lost. Wow, you suck. Okay, bye. <laughs> Click. His dad's the greatest. His dad's literally like a teenage boy. You're just realizing this. No, I'm not. I'm just <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to warn you, when he was actually a teenage boy, not much different. I'm not surprised. <laughs> he kind of gives off that, like, James Potter-esque vibe of, like, the carefree, like, la, la, la. I don't I know. Don't, I never would have expected that comparison. I, I don't know. It That's does. a very I cannot, but I understand what like you're saying. Like the little like bullshit asshole teenager, but he has a lot of friends. People like him. But he's not a terrible person. But he's not a terrible person. There you go. Yeah. Now you're you're gonna meet the terrible person next season. I am so excited for her to meet him uh. and hate him as much as I do. <laughs> Too bad it's like all the second half. But she's gonna hate him as much as I do. I'm not ready to hate people again. He's the he's the villain, so you're supposed to hate him. No, oh, what Gourmet. is every, Not everything needs to have a villain. Gourmet food Nazi. We could just we could just have a nice okay season food two cooking. So, I love the whole let's turn it into a three way, balance. <laughs> Don't do it. The, let's turn into a let's turn it into three finalists. Mm -hmm. I I thought that was interesting. Yes. I definitely... I love how pissed off they all were. Just mainly like, just the one dude. Well, yeah, but... Just the one seafood But all of guy. them were just like, but really, though? Who? No, but the best part is, to this day, they argue... Him and Yukihiro will still argue about who came in second and who came in third. I'm, I'm sure. Even though they both got silver medals. Um, I, I love... That was, but I still think the internship arc was my favorite in that season. Yes, it was better than the autumn elections. Yeah, mainly because we finally get some actual growth for mm -hmm. Yukihira. He's, he's kind of realizing, 
okay, as I am now is not enough. Yeah. I need to I need to actually get better. Yeah. And you kind of see that evolution and finding his specialty, which as far as I'm concerned is eggs. 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 Every like main powerful dish he's ever made has, is, eggs. has had eggs as an main ingredient. Eggs. So, he's egg boy. Eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. What? Eggs. <laughs> she I thought she was going to cry at the end at the finale. With the with the backstory of the alumni and of mom, mm, and then what was it, the cheeky youngster style? Cheeky youngster style! Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, the show! Never thought you'd care so much about food. Mm. <laughs> I still, I think my favorite line of the entire bit is during the like montage of other people. The two macho guys from the dormitory. Yeah. And they're like, I thought you were just two bit characters. That's not accurate. <laughs> Fourth wall, gone. Yeah. It was great. That's really, yeah. I also love the ongoing joke of the glasses guy getting murdered. <laughs> Poor <laughs> she, dude. Every time. Just, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Get it together, kid. But he is. He's surviving. Somehow. Barely. Somehow. I love, I also love how this is the arc where fe people finally get off Yukihira's ass for being yes. pompous. And he comes back to thousands upon thousands of challenges. From second years, no less. Yeah, remember, he's a lonely freshman. Yeah. But even the guy said, we're... we're You're not, you play on the... For the, all the first years are playing on our level now. I think he was mainly referring to the genius first years. Yeah. So, Spice's guy, Seafood guy, Yukihira... Well, yeah. Uh, and pretty much anybody who was in the main eight of the Autumn Festival, you was like, you are playing on the same field as us. Good luck, buddy. And Yuki here is like, let's go. I'm going to fuck some shit up. I can't wait till you hear more about his dad. He'll make Yuki here look like a wuss. <laughs> I bet. Um, I Because you'll learn about team Shokugekis. Oh, lordy. That sounds fun. So that's going to be fun. Season three, I can't wait. Season two is, a, I think season two is a, when you're binging the whole show like I did, and you're going one, two, and three, mm -hmm. I think season two is a good kind of down, I wouldn't say down in a good way, like yeah. an energy way. It's a breather. It is a breather season. Because season one is strong. Season one is strong because it's like, here's eight billion characters, here's all the lore, and, and here's, here's a... a Here's their stories, here's... Backstory, backstory, fight, backstory. Fight, backstory. fight, 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 fight. Food, food, food. It's just all this other stuff's happened. And so season two takes that moment of going, you are familiar with this, so here's just a little story that happens with them and how they get better. Yeah. And then season three is, all right, you want some plot? I got some plot for you. I was nowhere near as stressed out during season two as I was during season one. Yeah, the stakes were a little lower, in a, but again, in a good way. Like, yeah, and you would think with, like, autumn elections and stuff, it would be working up. Well, that's because there was, like, nothing on the line except pride. Yeah. No, except for that one match against the copycat dude. Yes. Stakes were kind of high on that one. I'll quit cooking. No, not yeah. right. Well. I, okay, you hate that guy so he's much. A f oh, God. The stalker copycat guy. Number one, you're a stalker. It's weird. And he's proud of it. You're gross. He's proud of it. St don't be a stalker. I love when he was reenacting being Yuki here at the diner in his kitchen. That was really creepy. Number two, find your own thing, you asshole. That is his thing. No, no, copying people is not someone's no, thing. No, he's not, he's taking- Copying it and making it slightly better. Well, to be fair, Yuki here didn't find his thing yet either. He was just making pre- it, It's different. It's different. It's different. Because he's not a fucking creepy stalker dude. I'll give you that. But his backstory was pretty nice. He just wanted to impress his dad. Yeah, I, I'm choking on my spit. That's nice and all. But don't but be a stalker. No. But no. There is no reason to be a stalker. A creepy, creepy stalker who steals everyone's fucking knives. Don't be that asshole. Which is why Yuki here kicked his ass. I've never seen him so pissed. No, wait. I'll take that back. The, season three? No. Oh. Season one, when um when the girl got expelled, mm -hmm. ooh, he was he. You don't 
fuck with him and his friends. I also that just, scene still gives me goosebumps. I just love, I also really, really like in this show how they imply or suggest that everyone kind of has a thing with everybody, but especially Yukihara and like six girls. It, yeah, it does kind of have a hair vibe to that because you got, and it's you got so nervous girl, funny. you got nervous girl, you got meat girl, haha. Uh-huh. You've got Nik- N- Nikumi. Nik- her name. Yeah. Her name is Nikumi. Uh, you have Edina. You've got the pink-haired medicinal chick now. Yep. Because she's on that. And he's Alice. just like food. He's got. Well, to be fair, <laughs> the only one that really implying that has a actual romantic attraction to him is Nikumi. That is the only one. Her, her and during season three, Edina. That's the only two girls who have really said like or act like there is some sort of attraction to him. So I'm giving them points on that. Mm-hmm. And besides, it's not a harem. Thank God. Harem shows are awful. Yeah. But still, it's very... Implied. It's very funny. It's very shippable. It's very shippable. Hell, some of the men are shippable. Yup. Come on, it's Yuki... It's a very shippable show. Yuki Hira and Aldini. Done. <laughs> the, the the older brother. The blonde. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. That one's there. Yuki Hira and the spice dude. Yeah. It's getting steamy. <laughs> Anybody in the dude in the apron. Really. He's naked all the time. I can't. Oh. You got so much easy access there. I rewatched a clip of him from season three recently. It still scares the shit out of me. You don't fuck with that dude in, the, in, the, in his dorm mates. You don't. Anyway, we're gonna we're really. Gonna anyway, this season I would say overall is good, but not great. But it doesn't need to be great. It doesn't. When you're binging it, but when you're watching it week to week, I can understand how it's a weaker season. Yes, absolutely. I'm glad it was shorter for the sake of getting through it and getting past it. It's like, I honestly think the showrunners knew that these two arcs were going to be kind of low on the energy side. So let's, let's just give it a season, give it 13 episodes and get, get it through over. it. And then we'll ramp it back up. We'll ramp it back up. Because also, it's, unlike between season one and season two, it, it was a natural stopping point. Because season one, the, uh, really wasn't a stopping point because the Autumn Festival was still going on. Yeah. So, so they were just like, ah, sorry, we'll stop now. Yeah, that's a th- I, I hated that about season one. It was a cliffhanger. And I hate that about season three. Cliffhanger. But season two is a, was, it finished that up and had its own arc and went, okay, we're done. Mm-hmm. So it was a, vi- I give it that plus. It's a natural stopping point for a season. I would recommend season two to anybody who watched season one. And if you have, yeah, get if you watch season it. one, yeah. and if you have, if you've watched season one and haven't watched season two, give it a try. It's thirteen episodes, and it builds on some characters, and honestly has some really good, memorable moments overall in the series. Honestly, it's not. I didn't feel like we had to push through it. It was just That's always a, good. It was a matter of let's not miss this story. Because there's going to be important elements that are going to play into the next season. Let's watch it all. We do want to know what happens. It's very shonen that way. And I know you really don't understand that term, but shonen, uh, shonen uh, shows or shonen manga are all separated into arcs. Which are just, like in Bleach, the first arc is just called the Substitute Soul Reaper arc. Where the main character becomes a substitute mm-hmm. Grim Reaper and that's the story. And then something happens, which leads into the next arc, yeah. which is something else. Yeah. And before anybody suggests it, we're not going to watch Bleach for this show. That's 300 plus episodes of bullshit. And we already have so much on our list. And I've already seen most of it. And filler arcs are stupid. You know what a filler arc is? I'll, I'll tell you later. We don't have to, we don't have to put this on video. <laughs> anyway, season two, overall pretty good. I prefer... It is my least favorite out of the three. Yes, but that does not mean you should, should not watch it. Absolutely it's, not. It, like I said, it's, it's, it is it's, imperative. Not, it's not one of those, ugh, we just gotta get through it. No, like, it is a, but because it, it's still engaging. This yeah. show is so engaging. Yeah. Even when they're blathering on about food and the science of food, and I, my eyes do kind of glaze over, no pun intended. Like, oh, no pun intended. But, spices and stuff. But then you get... But honestly, I think that's the point. They knew people were going to get bored with that. So they add the orgasm noises to kind of go, Oh, right, I'm watching something. Hello. <laughs> to kinda, also, I would like to point out, 
happens to men just as much as happens to women, gender equality. <laughs> Can we end the video right there? <laughs> Let us know what you think of Shokugeki no Soma, Food Wars Season 2, Gender Equality. Let us know what you guys want us to watch in the comments down below. As always, follow us, subscribe, follow our Twitch channel on Nerd and Nile 226 if you haven't. We are going to be streaming this weekend. Of At the time of recording this, this will actually probably be out by the time we stream. Oh uh, yeah, awkward. We stream pretty much every weekend. We Absolutely every weekend, sometimes during the week. Follow us on Twitter to be notified. Mm -hmm. Or but, on Twitch. Or on Twitch. And we will see you guys next time. Bye everybody! Yeah!